Hi there, Virgo, and anyone else tuning in to your reading, maybe your cross washers, we'll get into it and see what's at play. But regardless, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for connecting here to you. Um, ooh, Virgo, there's a magic in the air. If there's a particular magic in the air, very exciting. Lots of love I'm hearing as well here. Okay, and um, so take it as you will. These energies can actually manifest over time, even like, let's say, six months, eight months online. Um, it's not always that, you know, it will happen, let's say, so-called happen, and energy is fluid, you know? So when does energy really start, stop, you know, so on? But there is something that is building, I'm hearing, and uh, it is it, it's something that you might find comes to a point of climax, we'll even say six months, eight months online, at least when we're reading and whatever comes through here. Let's jump into it and see here, Virgo. I'm going to pull a card over each of the days. Cool. Told you, didn't I? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm saying, like, Virgo, there's something that you, you are aware of, and it can be even, like an ability of yours, it's something that you're aware of. I'm, I'm hearing it in this, in this way again. Like, it's something that you know also you want. It's something that you you, you want to create. It's just, you know, maybe a matter of, like, how how soon is too soon, <laughs> I'm hearing. Okay, Temperance proceeding from the Fool. Father of Pentacles in reverse proceeding the Temperance card. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse proceeding from the Father of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five is the Sun upright. Sixth is the Six of Swords upright. And the seventh is the Ace of Cups in reverse. You lead it into the next week with the Ten of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles upright, and the Devil in reverse. Then you proceed from that with the Six of Wands upright, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Father of Wands in reverse. Let's get one more card there. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. The, la the second week here of April is the Seven of Wands. Now, you lead into the third week here with the Daughter of Swords in reverse, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups in reverse, Judgment in reverse, Hermit in reverse, Ace of Wands upright, and the Daughter of Pentacles that leads you out. The last week is the Death card upright. The second day of this last week is the Four of Pentacles upright, Three of Wands in reverse, is the third day. This is right at the last week of, again, April. The four of cups upright and the smack depth center of that week. Strength card upright. Nine of swords upright. Oh, boy. You lead out with the eight of wands. Now, the fool's got his eye on the eight of wands. I'm hearing Leo. I'm hearing there's something that you're so attracted to. But I'm saying but because it comes to a point where it's like, are you going to unbutton your shirt about it or what? I'm hearing that with the wheel of fortune. Ooh, want to be seen right next to that ten of pentacles here. Ten of pentacles in reverse and the wheel of fortune upright. There's something that you're nervous about, I'm hearing that. It's like, I do want it. I'm hearing that with the full upright and the tempers card upright, this is something that maybe you've been sustaining the vision of. You're aware of what this is. This can even be someone that you know, someone that you know really well even, that you want to maybe take the next step with, I'm hearing that. Let's pull one more card on that on that fool with the Tempest card, and I'm eyeing that Nine of Pentacles that came through, and it was the Aquarius reading upside down. Seven of Pentacles are in reverse, sitting between the Fool and the Tempest card. There's something that you are figuring out, maybe even, it's like, how do we say this? That's my dream, but like, I'm saving up for it. I'm hearing that. You lead out with the Temperance card with the Seven of Pentacles. So the vision and the manifestation I'm seeing is almost like seen as, I don't want to say separate, but it's like, well, that's the dream. And then this is the this is the story I'm hearing as well that we, that we tell about it. So it's something that you are kind of aware of. I'm hearing you're even excited. I keep hearing aware. It's something maybe that you know is coming with a fool for an overview. Maybe it is. Um, it's something in the environment. It's something that maybe will be made clear. I'm hearing that. You lead up with the Ace, the Seven of Wands, the Daughter of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands of each week, in other words, right? So, there, again, uh, it's very interesting because it's almost as if everything is laid out, okay? It's like, maybe, it's like, I had a dream of this. I knew that this is sort of the way it would it would move forward. The hangman coming through. Some of you are just in love. You're madly in love with someone here. Okay, maybe even with a certain space. I'm hearing that with a hangman. It can be in, an idea, even. It's like... Oh my god, I, I want grandchildren with them. Okay, but I'm <laughs> for no you maybe you really no, but you're you you're imagining it's like I'm imagining the way it would all go down, like with her hand on my back of my neck and I would just whistle in the wind and the and the wind would be strong enough to carry it over off yonder into the into the golf course. I don't know I, I don't know what that's going to. Like someone's like imagining like kind of how it would all go down. I'm hearing that. Some of you dealing with an Aries, a Leo, I'm hearing again, Virgo, okay, with a hangman and the Empress, even a Pisces, someone's got a lot of Pisces, a lot of Leo, maybe they're overlapping each other lovers in reverse the emperor in reverse we're in the lovers in reverse leading you out with the strength card upright there's something that you're i'm hearing again 
aware of <laughs> with the strength card. It's like something that maybe is, I wonder, is this building around you, the moon here, leading out in reverse with the sun of wands in reverse. I want to pull here like a Celtic cross. I want to see more coming from the perspective of the timeline, you know, what, where, where did this come from? I'm hearing actually, because it may actually be something in your midst that is being brought about. It's like kind of, um, maybe a surprise, but let's, let's pull into it. Chariot in the deep past. Someone here has something in mind. No, really like they, maybe they are observing this. It's something they're planning. They're kind of like excited about. They're kind of like considering they're open. They're trying to keep an open mind with them here in that as well. They're thinking, you know, how could it go? Maybe they're fantasizing. I'm hearing that as well. In the near future, the tower in reverse. Hopes and fears, the five of pentacles in reverse. There's a question of timing. It's all about timing, if anything. It's like, it's not what it is. It's how it will be. I'm hearing that. And interesting. You lead out with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Definitely check out the Leo reading video for guided. There could be something that you know, you might even be working on with someone and it's kind of like, maybe there are a number of perspectives. Maybe it feels a little bit awkward. I'm hearing uncomfortable uncle. I'm hearing uncle. This came through in the Libra reading. So there could be a focus on that sign as well. But you lead out the nine of pentacles in reverse. Let's get a few more cards with that wheel of fortune that leads you into that nine of pentacles. It's the magician. Aha. <laughs> Seven of swords. Someone's planning something. The ten of swords. Yeah. Yeah. Sun of wands in reverse. Ten of cups in reverse. And the world of bright. I'm feeling tasting like a feather or like a hairball in my mouth. Is that sensation? I'm not sure. Someone's been... Mm, saving up even i'll say it in that way to carry this out judgment leading out from the world so for a number of you this is a new type of experience maybe you do have the ten of cups in reverse it's sensational there's a sensation of like something evolving transforming with the sun of wands in reverse maybe even maturing for a number of you it's something that maybe you had a vision of in the so-called past maybe even there's a focus on childhood here with that chair in reverse and it's like okay here comes here it comes like this is when it all sort of like comes about i'm hearing manifests and um with the ten of pentacles you know there's something that you do have v visions of i'm hearing reasons for i'm hearing also for behaving the way that you do in relation maybe even to this person is this a surprise like what is going on here there's so much like <laughs> what is this okay let's just get a card there ace of cups like someone is maybe i don't want to say stalking someone but like they're kind of like i'm hearing oblivious i don't know what that's alluding to like someone has no idea that this person has a huge crush on them maybe it's something like that it's like they're so nervous maybe every step they take in relation to this space maybe they're super concerned like oh my god she has no idea that that's what i have in mind it's like or what if oh my god like what if she sees like you know my shirt under my clothes like i don't know what that's alluding to but no judgment but it's like you know it's not like a huge it's like how do we say this it's like it's not such a big thing like it's not like oh my god a human i'm hearing that okay strength and reverse is like he's just like kind of like scared i'm hearing that with a strength in reverse like sun in reverse i don't know this is something, whatever it is, that somebody's planning with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's a lot of strategy here. It does come from, you know, forth from the metrics of the emotional storyline and how we're able to sync that up with what we are sort of like saying in so-called real time. Like, it's like I'm seeing someone feels nervous when it comes to managing the way they express their emotional nature, okay, in relation to even that which is professional. It's like, and even maybe even like pr protective productive it's like someone's trying to figure a happy medium space out maybe even it's like how do i make them all sort of make sense together like how do i balance it out with the eight of pentacles in reverse sun in reverse ace of cups in re upright and the strength are in reverse with that seven of pentacles in reverse at your apex there is something that you're figuring out i'm hearing that with the seven of pentacles in reverse it's something that you maybe have already started you realize that there is a history too and you're kind of like kind of saying hey you know i do feel like the potential does lie in the future but it's like in how i accommodate it maybe the vision so in other words it's steps the steps it's step by step it's not like a sudden thing as somebody maybe maybe sees it in their perspective from their perspective somebody wants to be careful the way that they carry this out with the strength corner reverse it could be in a certain element of it's a physical insecurity maybe it's like whoa don't look at my shirt it's like it's like you're not the first person to wear one you know it's like okay like they're just nervous with themselves like and that's no judgment right everybody has their thing but you know, there just is something that somebody has, like, a little bit of, like, uh, a little bit of a fear with, with the Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess and the Father of Pentacles. It's like, this is the first time. This is a new experience. Like, I don't know. I don't know myself yet. I'm hearing that in that way. Interesting. Two of Pentacles. So it's just new. So there is a distinction between, like, I'm scared and, like, I feel 
a little bit freaked out because it's something that is uncomfortable for me. It's not something that I feel I've already sort of, you know, ruled, ruled, ruled out. I'm hearing religion. It can be related to the concept of, again, something physical, religious, mother of pentacles coming through right now on top of the ace of pentacles. There is a, a sort of perspective around whatever this room is i'm hearing with the ace of pentacles there's something in the environment that is i don't want to say complicating this but it is definitely relevant it's like oh my god like i remember stage fright it's like what if this what if that like i have to i have to be prepared like what if this happens what if that happens i'm hearing that as well with the mother of pentacles like someone's on stage they they feel like everyone's staring at them it's like really something like that possibly For a number of you, somebody has an idea of something they want to develop or manifest, um, but it's like kind of maybe, um, it's like no one maybe would expect it, one, two, coming from this person. I don't know. It's like, according to maybe their their mentorship work in the past, it's like, of all people, like he made that clear. Now, that could be their perspective, okay? In like their mind's eye. So not always is it like people see us the way that we see ourselves in that moment. Okay. The Hierophant and the Daughter Cups. Like so many times it's like, you know, when you're like recording something and you're like, oh my God, I sounded so weird. And then you listen to it again and you're like, oh, it sounded fine. The star leading out mirroring that ace of wands so it is i do feel a little bit like you're tripping yourself out a little bit possibly virgo like there's a little bit of the sensation of like you know hiking it up in your mind feeling like it's a really big deal and it's like at the end of the day at the end of the day you're coming down to something that is a matter of 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 the heart space with the daughter cups and the father cups and mirroring that higher font and the ace of pentacles and the mother of want okay pentacles <laughs> mother pentacles it's not about making all this is just all slobber at the end of the day okay all over the fur i'm hearing on on the dog's back i'm hearing as well it's like that's not the point okay don't get psyched out about is this the right way to huff and puff i'm hearing that as well like Wait, no, don't answer that yet. There's another part of the question, like, up the hill. Like, it's like, you don't be so concerned. I'm hearing that Eight of Cups in Reverse and the Ace of Wands of Right. Like, the, you know, with how it's going to all, like, fit in the mirror. I'm hearing that as well, like, as you imagine it. So it's not going to make sense to have a vision of whatever this is and then try to carry it out as well according to that space perfectly with the Seven of Cups coming through upside down. It's like, that's not realistic. And for a number of you, there is something that, let's clear it, you're kind of like wondering, you know, is it even appropriate? Ace of Swords, like, this is the kind of thing where maybe there's a huge focus on self-talk. But aside from that, there is maybe this a little bit of, I go back, I go forth, I pursue it, I step back, I'm nervous, but I'm excited, I want to be in, but then I want to be out. Like, with the star leading you out, Virgo wow the two of cups in reverse like we go so far with this nerve with the nerves thing with the nervousness it's like we may test ourselves even on this and just totally step out of the space altogether obliterate the idea from our mind's eye and just like pretend it's kind of not there just to kind of like be able to cool down i'm hearing that as well the strength in reverse like you know it is that much maybe anxiousness that is associated with or or i'm hearing what's the right address hurry tell me like someone's trying to like get something perfect i'm hearing that with the ace of swords they feel maybe that the reputation is on the line. I do feel that as well, Virgo. We're going to jump into your extended. We'll see what further comes through. Um, but the star leading you out is is really exciting. Um, I'm hearing Charles. There's someone who feels like there's a shift maybe even in the way that they are to express themselves. It's like, look, it's like maybe someone is always seen as like goody two-shoes so-called, okay? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling pressure on the right side of the heart chakra and the sacral chakra. And it's like, here they come. Like, it's like, it's a little bit of this energy of like... There's no going back. Like, it'll never be the same. Like, they'll never be the person I knew. I'm hearing that as well. Like, maybe this is a friend who really likes someone that they're friends with. Um, maybe they're, like, a friend to someone else, and they're going to maybe meet, and it's going to... Something about that introduction, it's like... was like, once you introduce that, it's like a lot of things change in that environment. Like, you know, there will be a lot of people staring. Maybe I'm hearing that as well. The Mother Pentacles, these Pentacles, like, it's like, <gasps> whoa, did you hear? Like, you know, something like that, possibly. It's um interesting though because i'm seeing like somebody here the they, they're gonna like kiss their friend for the first time or something or they're gonna like come out with like how they really feel about somebody like and i'm hearing maybe they're a little someone's asking someone something they're like noteworthy i'm hearing that i don't know somebody's so in their head though let's jump into the extended link by box below and i'll see you there virgo love and light to you guys